Hello everybody. This is Diane Marie with Creative Stamping as my um, stamping business. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and today I am going to show you how to create these. Um, it's called a Dutch Easy Dutch Door Fun Fold. So I have been trying to learn how to make more fun fold cards and with this one you lift it up and then you have the two little like a little dutch door it reminds me of a um a dutch door oven i guess you'd say so i create i did this one with i think it's called a uh, beauty of friendship bundle i think so this was like one of the bundles i first got out of the annual catalog on my pre-order. So I really had a lot of fun doing that one. So the other one I did is from the Hand Pen Petals uh, Bundle Suite. So I kind of got the whole suite. Well, no, actually I didn't get the actual stamp set bundle until a little later on because I didn't realize how much I really wanted it until later on. But Anyhow, um, this is the same thing, you know, you just open it up like that. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you how to, how to create that, but we're going to, I'm going to use some different colors today. I am not going to be using the, uh, Daffodil Delight or any of that. I'm, it's going to be very similar, but different, different colors. So I've already got my supplies ready. So I have a piece of Holland Heather cut at four and a quarter this way by nine this way. And I am going to get my trimmer out and I'm going to go ahead and score that at five and a half. I'm gonna make sure I get this blade out the way because I don't wanna use that. And I have done that before. So I'm just going to line that up to the five and a half mark, and I'm just going to score that with the scoring blade. And I'm going to uh, sit this here for a sec, and I'm just going to score that, fold and score and burnish that with my bone folder. And then I'm going to take this piece of, I think this is the piece I need for the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and get some stamp and seal, and I'm just going to put that on there and put that on the inside. And that way, that's already done. But I think I'm just going to go all the way around because lately I've been just putting some up at the top and then at the bottom. And I'm starting to see that it's coming, up, coming out of the card a little bit. And I don't want that to happen. Actually, I'm skipping a step. I keep doing that. I actually need to put this piece on first. So this is a piece called um, of the same Highland Heather at two by eight and a half. So two this way, eight and a half this way, and then I need to score this at, and I've got to print this out. And I need to score this at two and one eighth. And then I need to score it again at six and three eighths. So the six and three eighths is a little tricky on the scoreboard. So if you can see, it's basically right here. Um, so you have six and seven eighths right there. And then six and five eighths right there. So it's really hard and it's really tricky to see it, but it's right here at the very end of this piece right here in the hinge of the trimmer. So this dark gray right here, it's at the very end of that dark gray right there. And the reason I and the, and the reason I know that is because I've done it several times now and I always seem to mess that up, but I seem to I think I've got it now. So if you just line that up to the very end of that dark gray where the hinge is and you just score that at six and three eighths and I think that's all the scoring I need to do for that and then we're going to 
I'm going to take that and I'm going to score that. Or not score it, I've already scored it. <laughs> I'm going to fold and burnish this with my bone folder. Now this should fit right inside here. Let's make sure that's right. Yeah, I think I have it. So it fits right inside down at the very bottom of this card. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna put some, actually gonna put some Tombow on it. Just because um, it, it'll hold it a little bit better and it's a little bit stronger of adhesive. And I find that the card stock's a little bit heavier than the DSP, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take that and I'm going to, and I've got these two folded inside because it's easier for me to see it so I can line it up better that way. Because if I have the flaps out, I can't really tell if I've got it lined up, but I think I have it pretty good now. So then it will go like that. Then you put your white piece in, like so. And you're just gonna center that in there. And then that kind of hides that. That hides this right here. And it goes like that and like that. So I'm gonna set that out the way and I'm gonna start building up the card. But before I do that, I need to stamp my image and I am going to be stamping this flower. No, it's not this one, it's this one. And the sentiment, thanks. I'll just go get a little bit of coffee. So um, I have it already on my blot and I'm gonna use my Tuxedo Memento Black. Well, Memento Tuxedo Black. So anytime you're gonna use Stampin' Blends, I recommend that you use the Memento Tuxedo Black. And you can, you can do this as far as inking it up, or you can lay it down flat or you could do this, and just like so. If it's too big of a stamp, it's easier. And then I'm just gonna set that right here, and then I'm gonna stamp that right here on this scrap piece of basic white. And then I'm gonna take my Stampin' Blends, which I have a few here. <laughs> so I have, I have dark mint macaron, and then I have a light mint macaron, and then I have a dark and light just jade. And I have a Highland Heather, light and dark. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to start with the dark. And I'm going to go around the outline of the flower and I'm using the this um, side and this is like more of a fine um, point. You have two sides, you have a fine point and you have a brush. I'm just gonna use the fine point. And I'm just gonna go around the flower with the dark. And I thought I'd do that first. Cause I would like, I'm gonna come back in with the lighter Highland Heather and then I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm gonna let that sit a minute. Well, not really a minute. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to start doing my leaves. And so the leaves, I think with this card, I did the bigger leaf and dark just jade. I'm gonna go ahead and outline that with the bigger one. And it doesn't take too long to do this. I think this is probably my most favorite thing is to color. I love it. It's so much fun just to sit here and be able to do this. 
and then I'm just going to go around the outline of that leaf. And I'm going to do the same thing up here with these other ones. And then I'm going to come back in with my light Highland Heather and do that flower while that is setting for a couple of seconds. So here's my light. I'm going to use the brush tip. And then I'm just going to pull that dark into that flower like that. It kind of gives you a little bit of a shadowy look if you pull the dark from the outside into the center of the flower. I don't think there's no particular way to do it. It's just, you know, you do it the way is easiest for you. So there's that, and now I'm gonna come back in with the light Just Jade, wherever that one is, there it is. And I'm using the brush. But before I do that, I wanna do this outline in the Dark Mint Macaron. I think that's what it is, yeah, Mint Macaron. Okay, and then I'm just gonna outline that while that's sitting, I'm gonna come back and do this flower uh, leaf and then after I get them colored in I take this matching dye that goes to the bundle and I cut that out and uh, it's so much fun doing this and I just love that that the um, designer paper and the Stampin' Blends, they all coordinate, which makes it so much easier for you. Is this the dark? Yeah, this is a light Just Jade. So I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna pull that back into that leaf. Just pulling that in with that brush tip. And then you're just gonna keep coloring that in. And I'm not gonna do that too long. I'm just gonna give you an idea what to do. I can do this at another time. I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what I did. I just brought this light mint macaron and I brought it back in and kind of did the same thing. I just pulled that dark into the leaf and then I did all that. And then once you're done with coloring those in, um, you can take it and cut it out with your stamping cut embossing machine, which I'm gonna do that real quick. I thought I had one already. Um, I thought I already had one. Oh goodness. I had already one cut out, but I guess not. That's okay. Let me just get one. Let me get this matching die. So I took this matching die, which is this one right here, and I cut it out with this. And for me, I just line it up and uh, I use this tape right here. To hold it down make sure it doesn't move around too much because it will and then I'm gonna run that through real quick and that won't take me but a second or two to do that and then this is what you get once you run that through all right I'm gonna clean that up in just a minute. So the next thing I did is I, I'm gonna sit this over here for a second. So the next thing I did is I started getting my pieces together and I have DSP and a piece of, so I have two of these cut at, I already have the measurements written on here. 
This is Mint Macaron, and these are two pieces at one and three fourths. And then the designer series paper that will layer on top of that is two of them at one and a half by one and five eighths. So let me go ahead and layer them together. So just get some seal. I'm just gonna put that right on top of this one. I'm just gonna center that in there. Okay, same thing with this one. Well, I don't think I got any on there. And you're gonna put that right there and you're gonna layer that up. Okay, and then the other two pieces so this is also Mint Macaron that's cut at three and a quarter this way by four this way. And then I have a piece of designer series paper, DSP. It's going to layer on top of that. I think I need to change my cutting blade. It's getting a little rough right there. You can tell when you need to change your blade when you start seeing a little stuff on the side of your paper there. So this is cut at three this way by three and three-fourths this way. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm just going to layer that up as well. Okay. And now I've done this several times. So when you go to cut your designer paper, make sure you're cutting it in the right direction that you want it to go in. Because I've done that a few times now where I've cut it in the wrong direction. So, yeah, you just got to, depending on the pattern, the way you want it to go with your card. So, for this one, you need it to go straight up. So, you have to cut that to go straight up. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on top of here. So, I am going to use some Tombow for that because it has uh, two layers there and the Tombow is pretty strong for that. If I can get it to come out, sometimes it don't wanna come out right away. There we go. So, I'm just gonna pick that up, sit that there. And then I'm just going to layer that on the top here. If I try to keep my fingers out the glue, sometimes that's hard to do. So I'm just going to center that in there. I might have put a little bit too much Tombow there. Hopefully it's not going to ooze out too much. So there is the first layer. There's a little bit adhesive there. Now, I have this little adhesive eraser thing that I picked up. I don't remember where I got it from. It might have been Stampin' Storch. I'm not sure. And it just takes it off. If you just use it as like an eraser, you can just pull that adhesive right off. I have always been trying to find one of these because sometimes the adhesive can get Um, in places you don't want it to be. And this is just a miracle worker right here. All right, I think I got it off. So you use it just like an eraser to erase the um, adhesive off. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that up and then I need this piece to go here and this one to go here. So I'm just going to Add some more Tombow to the back of this and put them right there. So I'm just going to do one at a time, but I think I'm going to flip it around so I don't get adhesive on that white piece because I really don't want to do that. So I'm just going to add some Tombow to that one. I got a little adhesive on my finger. So making sure I am going to put it on the correct way 
Actually, I think I might be able to do it this way. Let's see. There we go. So you're just gonna center that right there. And the good thing about the Tombow is you do have a little bit of wiggle room to, to move it around before it sets. I don't know why I'm getting these little bitty pieces of it there. So I'm gonna do the same thing for that one on that side. Okay, let me set that out the way. I'm gonna pick that up and then I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, there's that. So that's all done. So the next thing you're gonna, next thing I'm gonna do is I've got a little, um, What do you call this? It's called the scallop contour dies. Now these actually do go with this stamp set as a bundle, but I actually took this one here and I cut this out from the basic white to use for the front of the card. So now before I actually put this on there, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment first. So I'm going to take my Mo Tuxedo Memento Black, or Memento Tuxedo Black, the basic black ink, and then I've got the sentiment called Thanks, so I'm just going to do a, a test stamp to make sure it's good to go, and then I'm just going to put that very bottom, at the very, very bottom of this piece. Okay, that's pretty much... All you need to do with that, set this out the way. I'm gonna bring this back in. I'm gonna use, do I wanna use Tombow? And then it's just gonna go right on top there. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna use some Tombow. I always have to hit it. I always have to do that because sometimes it's hard to get it to come out unless you do. Depending on how full the bottle is, Sometimes you have to do that to get it to come out. So I'm just gonna use some Tombow. And get this out the way. And to pick it up, I'm just using my pick a tool so I can get a, a grasp on it. And I'm just gonna sit that right in the middle of this. And it should be good to go. Now, when you go to put this on the top of this card, there is a little bit of adhesive right there. Let's see if I can just roll it off. I, mean, I thought I got it all off, but there's still a little bit there. Let's see. Make sure I got it all off. I thought I'd gotten it all off, but I guess not. Just trying to make sure that's all off. So yeah, I think I got it now. So when you go to put this on the front, you don't want to do it down here with adhesive. So for me, what I did is I took my fingers, or I took a finger here, and I just kind of put my finger here to kind of get an idea of where I need to, like, stop with the adhesive but i'm using the dimensionals to pop this up so you kind of need to stop right there because if you don't then it's not going to open so i'm just going to hold my hand my finger right there i'm going to flip that over so i need to stop right about there so i'm just going to put a teeny tiny mark right there so i know not to go no further than that with the dimensionals. So let me turn that around. I'm gonna add some dimensionals up here. 
and one here, maybe one over here. And I think that, well, let me do one more. And I'm gonna take my pick a tool and I'm just gonna pull them off. It's just easier for me to just grab them all at once. It's quicker. And then you're gonna basically put this right up at the top in the middle. You're just gonna center that in the middle there, making sure that you don't put it any further, kind of like, kind of like that. And then it should open like so. And there is your Dutch fun, <laughs> uh, let me make sure, easy Dutch door fun fold. It is a, it is a lot to set. So it's pr pretty fun and pretty easy. I really enjoyed making this card today. So the only other thing left to do is to put these, uh, I put, let's see, on this one I put, I think I put four of them on here. And I just think this is the best um, embellishment to put on here. Cause I think it just go, I think it might be part of the suite. But anyway, it's gentle, it's gentle gems. I may be saying that wrong. Yeah, because you got pale papaya and then you got mint macaron, which are the same colors you have on here of the DSP. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a fairly bigger one. I'm just going to put it on the inside right there on that flower. And then I'm going to put a couple here and maybe one up there. And I think that should be enough for... Um, the embellishments. I'm just trying to get me a little one. So here's a little one right here. And then I'm gonna grab another little bitty one. So I'm putting two on each side of the sentiment. And then I think I might grab a fairly good size one and put it up at the corner of the card. I'm trying to grab it. This take a pick tool with the putty is supposed to help grab it. So I think I'm gonna put one, hmm. So I have that one over here. I think I might put it, do I want it here? And I'll just put it right here. So there's that. So I hope you liked today's video. Um, let me know what you think. I always enjoy doing the videos to try to inspire you and give you some ideas on some different ways to create some different cards. So they're pretty much the same, other than I mixed it up a little bit and used some different colors. I used the Highland Heather this time instead of the Daffodil Delight. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that little bell icon down below. And I hope that uh, I can come back next Monday and bring you another good video. For you to watch and thank you so much have a great week bye